Shalom, it's Tahila from the Kifar. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about a really useful resource called Morphix, and you've probably heard of it. It's, um, it's really popular. But Morphix is a Hebrew and English translator. So it operates similarly to Google Translate. Um, I like it better, and it also has a couple of extra really cool features um, and a bonus feature that's just available in the app that I'll show you at the very end. So quickest way to get there, M-O-R-F-I-X, Google it. And it's going to be the first option that comes up. Now, with Morphix, it's using it is pretty straightforward. If you can Google, then you can use Morphix. So you just put in the word that you want to translate. Um, let's go with teacher and hit translate, or you can hit enter, and it will give you the translation below. Okay, so here we have more and melamed. Um, so usually if the translations are provided and there's a comma separating them, then it means that the meanings are pretty similar and you can use either one, but the first one will be the most common one. So more is the most common way to say teacher. Um, melamed literally is someone who teaches. So you, you might hear a teacher referred to as a melamed, um, but more is gonna be the most common one. Now, an extra feature is if you scroll down, you will get a couple of other related phrases for whatever word you look up. So, for instance, a substitute teacher is a more machlif, or feminine mora machlifa, okay? Or a kindergarten teacher, which is a separate word that doesn't even have more in it, is ganan for masculine, or ganenet for feminine, okay? So, this is just a, a sort of extra cool thing where you can get um, some additional vocabulary words besides the specific ones that you are looking for. Um, okay, so I mentioned before that like if there's a comma separating the words that they're similar and the first one is just going to be the more common one. If, and I'm going to show you using the word cheap as an example, because cheap um, is an interesting word in English. So if we say that something is cheap, it can be that it is inexpensive and we can get it at like a great price or it can have a more negative connotation if you're talking about the quality of something, that it's low quality, it's kind of worthless if an item is like really cheap. Um, or if you're using it to describe a person, it can be that they are like a miser, they don't spend a lot of money, they really, they, they wanna save more than spend. So those are three different um, definitions for the word cheap. And in Hebrew, those would be three different words or phrases that you're using to express that idea. So here for the words cheap, we get zol, Kamtsan and Bazui. Okay, so those are three different words, and you see here that they're separated by the semicolon. So if you're ever not sure, and the semicolon will give you a hint that you really want to double check, so you want to reverse look up those words, okay, because you don't want to call someone Zol. Um, Kamtsan would be a, an adjective for a person, a person who is really tight fisted when it comes to money, and Zol is more cheap. Um, in terms of inexpensive. So again, just be careful. If you're ever not sure and you get a bunch of meanings, the best thing to do is just copy the word and put it back in the translator, and then you'll see um, what the definition of that word is. Now, if you want to look up a word in Hebrew and you don't have um, a Hebrew keyboard, you can just click the handy dandy keyboard here, and you can type in the word that you're looking for. And if you make a mistake or hit enter, because enter doesn't work here, you just put your cursor back up in the bar, delete um, the extra letters and hit translate, and it will give you your word, okay? Tapuach. And um, another cool thing about if you look up a word in the Hebrew and have it translated into English as opposed to the other way around, it will give you the gender um, of, of the word. So here we have Shem and this Zayn stands for Zahar, which is masculine. So it's telling you that apple is a masculine word. If you see um, a Nun up here, like let's say we look up the word Simla. If you see, oops, got to delete that first. Um, here you see a Nun, Shem Etzem Nun. That means that this is a feminine noun for Nekeva. Okay, so that's um, an additional piece of information that it will give you if you're searching in Hebrew as opposed to the English. Another cool feature, and I'm not really sure if it's, it's 
acts a little weird when I'm using the mic and then also trying to do it on here. But if you try it on your computer, um, it should work just fine. If let's say you hear a word um, in Hebrew and you can repeat it, but you're not really sure how to spell it, you can look it up using this mic feature. So search by voice. And again, you can search either a Hebrew word or an English word. So let's, let's try it and see if it works. Tapuach. Ah, it worked. Okay, so I said it. It gave me three different options. And the first one is the one that I want. And again, that's Apple. So that's, again, a really cool feature if you know this word in your head, but you're not sure if there's an Aleph or an Ayin or a Tet or a Tav or a Vav or a Vet, and you can't be bothered with trying to go through all of the different variations, then you can just click on the mic, say the word, and it will translate it for you. There's another really cool feature um, that's not on the website. It is available on the app though. And so I'm gonna share my phone so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so this is the Morphix app on the phone. And the, there's a really cool feature um, that I learned about in, in a Facebook group that I was in um, where you can search for phrases and expressions that contain just a single word. And the way that you do it, and this part has to be done in Hebrew, is you put in a vav and then a space and then put in the word that you want to look for. So let's say um, I, okay? So ein, which is I, and we're going to press the green translate button and close the ad. And then here, so you'll see here a list of all of these different expressions and phrases that all involve somehow the word I. So for instance, halamat ein. Okay, turning a blind eye, or how to say this is someone is the apple of one's eye, um, or from your point of view. Okay, so this is again just a really cool um, feature that you can use. Let's put in a color just to learn about um, different phrases and expressions. Okay, wow. So this is um, an extra model. Now the app doesn't have the um, voice translation feature that the website does have. So that's an advantage of the website over the app. Um, and I, I don't know that it comes in English, but you can use it pretty much the same way. And you can also do your translations in English as well. So it shouldn't, I mean, it's pretty straightforward even if you can't read Hebrew, you just, the green button says translate. So you just put your word in, in the bar and then press the, the button to translate your word. So that wraps it up. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If you use Morphix regularly, let me know how it plays into your Hebrew studies. If you don't use it, try it out and let me know what you think. All right, until next time, lehitraot.